Okay, today we are working on patellofemoral pain and namely severe patellofemoral pain or chronic patellofemoral pain. And the reason I'm doing this is we came up with a nice hack using a pole to try and offload the weight bearing and get the balance a little bit better for those people who are really, really weak. Now, I've got two people at the moment who are really struggling with trying to do a single leg step down or a lunge to try and get their single leg strength better. Their squat's not too bad, but it's their single leg strength that they really struggle with. And if you've got patellofemoral pain, you'll find that trying to load up one leg and let it go forward is one of the hardest things to sort of overcome as far as confidence, strength, and pain. Now, initially what I get people doing is putting weight through something like a chair or a bench to try and offload the weight out of their knee and let their knee go forward. So traditionally we use like in the gym a bar or if you're at home, a bench top or a chair to then go, okay, I'm gonna do a single leg squat and take my weight through the chair so the weight's off the knee, which effectively makes it lighter, which means that the strength in the knee can handle the load. So we get people doing this sort of thing and then it gives them confidence to get their knee forward. Now, both those people that I've got are past that, okay? They are, they can stand on one leg and do the movement. They just struggle at the bottom, okay? So what we're gonna try and do is get them using a pole with three exercises. Now, weight through the pole will make them go, there's two things, it will make them go forward. So if I've got, so that's my right leg, all right? I'm gonna put the pole, this is crucial, put the pole in your opposite arm. Now the reason for that is, when I can put weight through the pole, I can switch on my lat here. So if I push down on the pole, my lat turns on here, which is gonna help me through here to that buttock. So I'm gonna get some connection through my posterior chain to help with the stability. Plus, it offloads the load into the pole, which takes them out of the knee. Plus, it allows me to bend forward. Now this is a great hack. If you're in the gym, you can just use a dowel rod because not everyone can do this sort of stuff or set up a bar in the gym or set up at home a bench time. Sometimes it's not appropriate. So if you're one of those people, this might also be good for you, just the fact that it's easier equipment, okay? So first exercise is gonna be your step down. What we might do is use this box here and I'll show you what I mean. So traditionally, if I put that over here, ideally we want people doing single leg squat, step down, okay? So this pole to help them with that, is gonna go in the front. If I'm gonna do my right leg, it's gonna go in the front and the left. And I wanna put weight through there before I even start. Okay, so little bend in the knee, little bend in the hip, that's my starting point. And then as I go down, I put weight through the pole so I can th focus on letting that knee go further and further forward, not putting weight through my back leg. And then as I come up, weight through the pole, weight through the back. I'm still loading through here. But what I'm trying to do is get it the correct amount of load for what that can handle. If, it's, if it can't handle my body weight, if I'm going here and I can't handle my body weight, then I've got to take, unload my body weight into the pole. Now the beautiful thing about this is you can grade it. So you put as much load through the pole as you need to get lots of hip flexion, lots of knee flexion, get the knee over the toe, and then pushing back up. And put as much weight through there as you need to get the movement. So don't worry about, oh, I'm putting heaps of weight through the pole. Get the movement first. Get your brain confident with going through a full range of movement, pain-free. Strain's okay, and load, sort of fatigue's okay, but not the sharp pains. So a bit of load through there is fine. Allowing that knee to travel forward just like your other one. As you get better, then less and less and less graded load through here. So. Your confidence and your strength increases over the weeks with this, you'll find you put less weight through here. But make sure it's always the opposite. I find if people put it through here, they're not gonna get the same connection, they tend to skew with a little bit. This will help you with that cross sling, that contralateral movement on the opposite side. So that right buttock, which you need for that knee, will be engaged by using your lat on this side here, okay? So your step down is a really good way of getting you from that sort of transition from doing a bench type one to doing a full one, use a pole. So, step down is number one. Number two, you can then use it with a lunge as well. Okay, so pretty similar stuff. So, if I was gonna do 
Again, my right leg. Right leg will be forward, left leg back. Now this is going to be a traditional physio lunge. Now, with patellofemoral pain, we'll just put that aside for a minute, what we tend to get people doing is you know, an ideal physio lunge all the way forward, okay? Angles forward, knee over toes, knee in line, okay? Angles forward, that 30 degree angle, loading, pushing back with front leg. You'll see on some videos, I've done lots of stuff on physio lunges. Now, when people are, how I have patellofemoral pain, weakness, problems in the kneecap, what we do is modify that, okay, and not let the knee go as far forward, okay, until they get enough strength to push it forward. But what you can do is maybe put some weight through the pole and help you travel forward, because if the pole's in the front, I can then put weight through this pole, which offsets and offloads that knee, but I can still bend down, and I can even slide my hand down here a little bit, and get into that position as confident as I can, because some weight's here, some weight's here, all right? And then try and load through that knee, but push through the pole at the same time. So think of the pole as assisting that front leg, and allowing it to travel forward, and get your body weight forward through here, okay? Because if you sort of sit back here, you're gonna load the back knee, and if you've got patellofemoral pain when you swap the other way around, you're not gonna like that when you put load through the back knee, okay? So that's another really good way, trying to do a lunge, which is still a single leg exercise, really. It's just that you have got balance and load support from the back leg, but you're trying to keep that around about 20, 30%, okay? You wanna have 70 or 80% sitting in the front leg, okay? And for you, that 78% is now shared with this, okay? So you've got to work out how much, sort of percentage-wise, how much you're putting through the pole, how much you're putting through the front leg, and then loading up through there. And that's one of the ways you're going to get that leg stronger by actually doing that single leg exercise and loading that front leg, loading through the quads, hammies and glutes, but also getting that confidence up to do the exercise in the first place, all right? Now, last one, which is one of my favorites, of course, is your one leg ball squat. Now, you can do the similar thing with this. So if I put that up on the wall, let's say I'm doing my left leg this time. So if I'm standing on my left leg, so looking this way, like that, okay, I want to be putting that in the right arm, okay? So think, always think opposite leg, opposite arm. I don't want to be putting the same outside one, all right? So if I'm doing left leg load, remember, when you do a one leg ball squat, the training leg is the outside leg, okay? So when I'm in this position here, this is where people have problems like trying to go down and there and then they get that loading problem there. If I can put some weight through here, again, that will turn on this lat, which will connect through to that glute, the opposite side. Remember, I need that glute to control the knee. When I go through a squat, I can load through the pole, it lets my knee go forward a bit more, and then push through the pole, push down through the pole, when I press upwards, okay, allows me to get more work down on that knee with less load and less pain, okay, and I experience that ability to go through into a squat, push back up, okay, get more and more confident with that movement. The more repetitions I can get out of this, the more conditioning I'm gonna get for that knee, okay? So it's like a means to an end. If you can use a pole to get your weight transference forward, get your body weight forward, get your knee forward, sit your bum down into a squat, okay? Learn how to load that knee. As you get better, like with all those other exercises, put less and less and less load through the pole, more and more and more through your knee until it's almost normal, okay? So it's like the other leg. Then you can carry on without the pole and keep strengthening, add load, that sort of thing. Okay, I hope that helps for those three. See you next time.